Hey, everybody. Episode 22, Multiple Idiots. Emmett Smith, former Detroit Red Wing, Mike Knubel. Good one today. We got our first returning guest. First guy getting a second crack at baloney boydom. We'll see what happens. We got Mike Cronin coming back. He was on episode two. So I thought episode 22, get meat back in here. And that's exactly what we did. And we're ready to chow down on meat. <laughs> really appreciate you guys listening. Uh, if you're out there, you're enjoying the show. Let everybody know. Tell your friends. Tell your enemies. Tell the people you're kind of meh about. Share us. Tweet us. Instagram it, whatever you want to do. We appreciate you listening. We appreciate you going to Apple and iTunes or Google Play or whatever and throwing us five stars and writing us a dang review. We got a couple. We got another new review that I am going to read for you guys from Allison Klempt, a little Ver Klempt. So much fun. Mike is a really great host, so funny, and always brings on funny, interesting guests. You'd be a fool not to start listening to this. Don't be a fool, you guys. The last thing I want for you is to be a fool. So don't be. So throw us a review and I'll read it. Even if it's, you know, I'll, I'll read them all. I don't care. I'm just sitting here waiting for you guys to review stuff. I'm, you know, I don't have a, a, an infinite amount of things to say. I need you guys to hand me out. In the words of Jerry Maguire, help me help you help my podcast very smart movie they predicted podcasting <laughs> but meet's great we uh we had a nice time we had a we we talk how we usually talk openly and freely and about zero feelings <laughs> and uh so but go follow mike he's at bone snake three uh next weekend if you're in minneapolis the fifth sixth seventh and eighth He's at Acme. So go see him at Acme, a great comedian and one of the greatest clubs uh, ever put together. Thank you so much for listening. I'm at the Mike O'Keefe. And this weekend, I'm in one of my favorite cities in the country. I almost said the world. And I'll tell you what. Yeah, it's one of my favorite cities in the world. I'm in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Burning Bridges Comedy Club, uh, Saturday and Sunday. It's a, it's a March 2 and March 3. Come out. We're going to have a good time. It's going to be a great, I, I, it's in, it's inside ham bones, which is a lovely bar there in Pittsburgh. It's a great new room. Uh, this dude, John Dick winners runs it and, and he's a stud and it's going to be a really fun time. So come on out. We'll talk about Tommy gutless. We'll talk about playoff beard and we'll have a nice time. Thank you so much. Follow us on all your socials at multiple idiots. I'm at the Mike O'Keefe. My guest today, again, Mike Cronin at bone snake three. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Now it's time for the, the part of the intro where I, I ask a favor. You I ask you actually this it's another favor. It's like, I've already asked you for four favors, but let's make it five. Let's Jackson this thing. <laughs> Take my hand. Ah, grab it. Just grab or grab. You can grab my wrist. If you don't feel weird. You know, if you feel weird taking it, my actual hand, just grab my wrist. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Me, what are you doing back here, buddy? <laughs> what are you doing back? Will you sneak back in my damn studio, Me, I, I snuck in. I heard you're having a bad day. <laughs> I was having a bad day. Please don't take a picture, R.E.M. <laughs> it's one of their songs. You like R.E.M.? I like a good R.E.M. Yeah. What's your favorite R.E.M.? Losing My Religion. <laughs> I, I celebrate their whole collection. You celebrate their yeah. whole collection? Uh -huh. Good for you. Uh, I found the one podcast that Mallory can stand, and it's that one about REM. Are you talking REM remake? I don't know why she likes it because it's ve it's very silly. It's and one she, of the dumbest. Yeah, it's so dumb, <laughs> and she could give a flying fuck about REM. Yeah, <laughs> she really could. But she's like, I like how much they like that band. I was like, Do you like the band? She's like, Oh no, not at all. Yeah, I felt that same way about the first one they did. Oh, the U two. The U two. I, well, I have a weird relationship with U two in that my dad is. Bono. Bono, I knew it. 
He's a lovely papa. That Mick fuck. <laughs> hey, don't say that about uh, papa. I'm sorry. Listen, there's a certain things that we can say about Papa on here, mm -hmm. and that's not one of them. Okay. But we can talk about uh, his sexuality, All right. his fashion choices, sure. and the fact that he's a kind of a blowhard asshole. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but other than that, <laughs> you lay off a Papa. Okay. Um, but I, I like the early U2 albums, but then I don't, you know, uh, yeah, get off right. my phone, you know? Yeah. They're on a phone. Come on, Apple. Well, come on, Apple. I'm like, crap. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> Well, we have you back here today, and by we, I mean, I guess Aaron's involved. Yeah, Aaron, the producer's involved. Mm -hmm. He he. Cut, there's been times where he, I know he's bit, he's talked loud enough to be on mic. You know what he does? When he cuts himself out. Cuts himself out. He cuts himself out. What he cleans himself. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'll tell you why I'm back. I want another shot at it. I tell you what, I want to give you another shot at it. Yeah, you were our, you were our second guest on the show, uh -huh. and you came in here, and it was crap back then. It was you would know it. <laughs> it was pure piss. It wasn't piss. It was fun. <laughs> it was fun. We were finding our legs. We were like a newborn baby colt stumbling yeah, around, pissing in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to piss talk. This is <laughs> this is this is Mike Squirts O'Keefe. <laughs> I got my co-host here, Piss Cronin. Piss Cronin. <laughs> And we're taking a tickle all over your eardrums. <laughs> Early ASMR minute. Ooh, we didn't even do that when you good. were here. That's no. how long ago you were. But people, people stop me on the street and they say, you know what? You should stop give me on the street. That <laughs> guy won the Oscar last night. Congratulations to oh, him. Congrats. Congratulations to all the winners on Hollywood's biggest night. Uh huh. Uh, I'll tell you who didn't win. Uh, me and my girlfriend watching the ceremony with my mother. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Can, can you believe what he's wearing? Yeah, it's a purple suit. He's Spike Lee. Get the <laughs> fuck over it. <laughs> like, of all the things that all these... There, there was a man who had top half tuxedo, bottom half ball gown, not a peep. Spike Lee in a purple suit, enraged. <laughs> How dare he? <laughs> And then I think my mom also said, he's only, you know, he's only about five, two. And I said, that's the least, that's the least interesting thing about Spike Lee. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's not. Okay. Spike Lee, the Knicks fan? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, the famous basketball yeller. <laughs> you know, he's only five. You know who else is five, two? My girlfriend, who is three feet from you. It's not, mm. it's, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> He made a movie this year. That was what you said about almost everyone who went on the red carpet. It's like, oh, Bradley Cooper made a movie this year. What was that? I was like, huh? oh my, oh, she did ask if he if he was nominated for uh, one of the Hangovers. Oh, right. <laughs> like, like it's like a cumulative. It doesn't start over every year. You can get. And let's like, be honest. He was. Oh my God, yeah. was he ever? Uh -huh. Phil. Yeah. Phil. Phil. Mm -hmm. He was. What's your favorite Hangover movie? Oh, let's talk it. The next one. Ooh, That's what yeah. I say. Yeah. <laughs> the thing with the Hangover, they just keep getting better and better. Uh -huh. They're so good. There's a baby. And what a, What do you think that baby's, that baby's like grown up now. Oh, yeah. That baby's like 12. Mm -hmm. Carlos, the baby. Oh yeah. Well, that's the show. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See you guys later. Uh, looks like I'm, uh, I'm never getting married because whatever. No. Um, it was good. Did you watch the Oscars? I did not. No. Have you ever seen a movie? Mm. You are this famous. Those are the long shows. <laughs> yeah, those are like the shows you have to go to a special place to watch them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You ever seen one? Mm. No. You should, you should give it a Just shot. Give it a, <laughs> give it a shot. Um, while you're here. No, I saw a happy death day to you the other day. Death day to you. It is... Um, it is sort of a Groundhog's Day style horror movie. Ooh. Where every time a lady gets killed, she has to relive the same day and figure out who's killing her. Sorry. Every time she gets killed? Mm-hmm. Wait, what? Yeah. It's <laughs> this, actually... This, this lady dies multiple times? Unbeknownst... Yeah. Oh, boy. Unbeknownst to me, it was a sequel. Mm. So it happened once... And then it was actually really funny. What an unfortunate situation for this yeah. poor gal. It's a real lemony snickets. <laughs> Did you see us on the road? That sounds like that's got road written I all over it. I saw it on the road. I saw it in Grand Rapids. Road. Oh, how was Grand Rapids? Did you enjoy Grand Rapids? I did enjoy that's Grand Rapids. Fun. Who are you with over there? 
Betsy DeVos. I was with Betsy DeVos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we figured out this whole elementary school oh thing. Oh, my God. You think they should still have l- get lunches, and I, she I doesn't. Do. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, that eh, costs too much. It's like, mm-hmm. the children. Bring them from home. Right. <laughs> That's a that's a good point. Uh-huh. Did you bring from home? Or did you get hot lunch? I got a hot lunch. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Working parents. Hot mm-hmm. lunch. Summer uh, in the city. Yep. <laughs> Don't like it. My mom would give me a five every day, and I would spend about three dollars. Your mom save give the you rest. Fi- your mom would give you five every day. Yeah. So have a good day, Michael. And uh-huh. you say thanks, mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And then she'd say, "Figure out lunch yourself." <laughs> That's that's the kind of tough upbringing that we can expect from Mark Cramblin. It's Mike Cronin, I'm man. Sorry. Come on, <laughs> I've only said it eight times already, but I forgot. It's been a r- yeah, it's I been a it. day. Yeah, uh, I, I, there's a, there's no way we we're gonna get through this whole episode without talking about this. Uh, also, there's a story involved with it, so it's not just me bragging about having a sick dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just me being like, "Listen, guys, it's going pretty well." But dad, but my uh, but my dad uh, is in the hospital right now. Uh, everything's okay for right now. Uh, if it's not, uh, I won't tell you because. It's a podcast. <laughs> that would be weird. Uh-huh. <laughs> But you know, if you want to send a nice, uh, if you want to send me a nice tweet or whatever about my my uh, my pappy being in the hospital, I would I would really appreciate it. Uh, also, Venmo at, at Mike hyphen O'Keefe hyphen three, mm-hmm. um, just for snacks for when I'm in the waiting room. Yeah, yeah. But one of the nurses today uh, <laughs> was just talking to us, and she's like, "You know what movie you guys should see? Open Water." I was like, "What?" <laughs> Like what's that? She's like, well, it's about it's about this couple. They go to the beach uh, because it's not going well, and you know that's always a bad idea. Like, <laughs> Tell me more about that. I'm please. listening. <laughs> She's like, and then they go out jet skiing. And they get the jet skis break, and they're on the water, and then there's a shark. And I'm not going to tell you what happens next. And in my head, I was like, I don't know what happens next. <laughs> Look, the shark's going to eat her. So, uh, open water. You ever seen it? <laughs> I haven't. There's that's a series now. There's more than one open water. The original. We was, gotta tell Nurse Tracy. The original was based on a true story. <laughs> oh my god! Which is messed up. Two people were scuba diving. Yeah. And oh, they, they were went, scuba diving, not jet skiing. They went back up, and yeah. the boat had left them. Oh no! And so they they were just stranded in the open water for for days. I have a very similar story. Uh, mm-hmm. My freshman year at Michigan State, I signed up for a scuba diving class. And not enough people signed up, so they didn't offer it. That's the same thing. That's the same thing. It's the same yeah. exact thing. Yeah, you should get royalties for that. I should get so many royalties. Mm-hmm. Uh, or uh, just come come to Chicago. Let's go to a pool. Teach me how to scuba dive. I'd yeah. love to know. Yeah. I'd love to know. You ever been scuba diving? I haven't. We've been swimming together. That's true. We sure have. <laughs> <laughs> These are all very similar things. Yeah. Um... Well, since the last time you were here, have you been to any other weddings? I have not. Have, I haven't been to a wedding in probably two or three years. Have you wanted to? Have you wanted to go to a wedding? I would go to a wedding. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah why not? Yeah. Why not? You got to do it sometimes. You got to do it you for gotta the kids. Go. You know? You ca- for the kids, you for said? The, yeah, these kids out there getting married. You got to support them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I, I, uh, I'm going to a wedding in... Three weeks. Mm-hmm. I'm going to my cousin Tim's wedding. No, a month. In a, in a certain amount of time, I'm going to see my cousin Tim get married. Sounds great. And um, it's exciting. It's going to be at a vineyard. Mm. And I am going to quote Sideways the whole time. <laughs> I've never seen the film Sideways. Yeah. But I know. You got some work to do. It's about wine. Sure is. And I'm, uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not a big wine guy. You don't like wine? No, 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 no. I oh. prefer uh, seltzer, hard seltzer. No, that's my boy. Yeah, yeah. I like beer more than hard seltzer. Mm-hmm. I'd go, I'd go beer, whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. Why are you saying it like that? I'm sorry. Whiskey, beer, whiskey, um, rum. You ever have rum? Sometimes, yeah, and and fruity drinks. In the I love tropics. I like, in the tropics? Yeah. You spent a lot of time in the tropics, right? Oh, you know it. You were a very famous maritime comedian before you moved to Chicago. Yeah, yeah. 
They used to call me the pirate Mike Cronin. Oh, that was a good gimmick for you. It was good. Yeah. And then people were like, we were, we were, we were like, didn't pirates rape a bunch of people? And I was like, <laughs> I don't know. And they're like, a pirate Mike Cronin is canceled. Now, yeah. Mark Cramblin. That's right. That's my boy. <laughs> Cramblin. Uh, beer, whiskey, rum, hard seltzer, wine. That was our show. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for coming, guys. <laughs> I don't know what I wanted you to do with that ranking. I really don't. It's a. It's. it's I would it's, put. It's a, <laughs> and my ranking is is whiskey. Yeah. Then wine. Yeah. Then seltzer. Okay. You're not a beer guy. Not a beer guy. Which is odd, because you look. We look. Like different versions of the same guy. Yeah. Like you're the taller redhead me, mm -hmm. and I'm shorter, dark haired you. That's right. And the the you usually the the personality attached to this uh, oeuvre, <laughs> if I may be so bold as to use the French, uh, is a beer guy. The beer guy. Yeah. Why don't, why don't you like a beer? You don't like the bubbles? <laughs> yeah, it's the bubbles. <laughs> it's the bubbles. Yeah. Uh, and it's every time it's the bubbles. Mm -hmm. I, when I was 16, I drank six Budweiser's in a half an hour. Oh, my God. And threw up for the rest of the night. Yes, you did. And uh, I haven't been able to drink it since. Really? Mm -hmm. It's it's literally almost like a 15-year-old situation. Yeah. Wow. Is there any sort of situation? Like, have you ever tried, like, a Guinness? I've tried everything. Okay. Wow. You with that, have you ever tried? I don't know. Like, I haven't tried. <laughs> <laughs> that does drive me nuts when people are like, "Yeah, but have you ever tried a light beer?" It's like, "Yeah, I've tried yeah, a light beer. I've I know of all these things." It's like people do the same. My I ex, work in bars <laughs> constantly. My ex girlfriend used to do the same thing with mushrooms, and she was convinced that I loved mushrooms, like, 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 like on just a salad. Yeah yeah, 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 okay. Not the magical kind. I don't know. She was a square. Listen, a couple weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, I, I interviewed some friggin' hippie, B. Casper. Ah, uh, acid this, mushrooms mm -hmm. that. Uh, LSD hit me with a wiffle ball bat. Yeah. Enough of this. <laughs> friendly ghost my ass. <laughs> yeah. Friendly ghost yeah. my ass indeed. Why don't you get lady. your mattresses and get the fuck out of here? <laughs> Hey, can you please oh, not say I'm that? So Come sorry. on. I'm Come so on. Sorry, you sponsored. Listen, we only need <laughs> we only need eight thousand more people to listen to this oh, before great. we get to plug some damn mattresses. Mm -hmm. And I'm not gonna let you or anybody quoting the Godfather get in the way of me and my mattress. <laughs> <laughs> no one no one takes more naps than me. Probably you. You probably take more. Oh, I could. Yeah. yeah. God dang it. I'm a guy who could nap. Oh my god, it's the best. <laughs> Was uh, can I tell you about a nap I had recently? Yeah, tell me. <laughs> I know this is the most boring thing to ever bring up, but it really, it was like a highlight of my weekend. And I had a, I, until the, until Sunday, I had a fantastic weekend. And if you saw the show in Traverse City with me and Mal and are listening to this now, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I had a fucking unreal time. Now let me tell you about the nap I had earlier that day. Mm -hmm. We went sledding. You ever been sledding? I love a good sledding. When you're a 30-year-old... Mm -hmm. It's still very fun, but it also hurts. <laughs> it sure does, yeah. And so at, we we go sledding. We go to, afterwards, we go to Fogarelli's, which is a lovely deli in Traverse City, Michigan. Uh, we go, man, we sit there. We're, we're hanging out with the baby, young Frankie. Gorgeous, beautiful young man. Eight months old. He's going to be a killer one. And he Ooh. was hosting for you? He hosted the yeah. shows, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he eight months old, <laughs> hosted the shows. He has this great bit where he goes, Applause break. That's every good. Show. That's really good. <laughs> you go, <laughs> Great. Frankie's probably listening to this now, and he says, he's thinking, oh, that guy speaks my language. He's thinking, this son of a bitch butchered my joke. <laughs> <laughs> this probably is what he's thinking. He's yeah. a stickler for mm -hmm. verbiage. If I know anything about Frankie, <laughs> it's that. Yeah. <laughs> If I know anything about Frankie, it's that he he took a three hour nap. Oh, that's too that's too long. Mm -hmm. He's a rookie. He's only been doing this eight months. You know? That's true. Yeah, yeah. He's got a long way to go. Yeah. But old champ, old O'Keefe, has what he calls a classic O'Keefe laydown. Mm -hmm. TM registered trademark. Hour and a half. Uh, full dream. 
wasn't even a scary dream. Wow. Good. It was great. That's great. It was really good. That's killer. Then up, I did an hour and five on Saturday <laughs> because I was so energetic. Now, did you wake up refreshed or was it? I did. Yeah. Oh, my God, oh, I did. Isn't that the greatest? Mm-hmm. Ugh. It feels like you did. Here's, here's the best part of it. Didn't even have to jerk off to do it. Oh, amazing. Right? Yeah. That's unheard of. Right? These days. If yeah. you're napping without running off a batch, good good on you. <laughs> running off a batch. It's amazing. Yeah. I, no one can fucking do that, man. I'm with you. It's hard. Mm-hmm. Man, if you you it's so tough to get us to sleep when you got one in the chamber. Yeah. I tell you what. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was good. Yeah. It was real good. <laughs> That's good. great. Mal killed too. She had a good set. She had a good she had a good one out there. Ben Max hosted. He was very funny. And then there was a guest set guy. I don't remember his name. And I, I don't remember. I was actually in the bathroom for his whole set. And I apologize <laughs> if you're listening to this, buddy. But, uh, yeah, everyone, very fun. Very fun. Very fun show. Uh, you should, you you're should, in the bathroom. Uh, what's up? Shooting that off. I was in the bathroom cranking one out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, these are Frankie's cousins that are going down the tubes. <laughs> That's the relation, right? If you're if you have a kid and your best friend has a kid, those kids are cousins, right? Mm-hmm. That's what I'd call them. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. They They're, don't know. They don't know. They don't fucking know. They, here's the more important thing. I don't think they care. Yeah. I like they were like Justin and Sam were like, oh, uh, Uncle Mike, Aunt Mal. It's like I'm not. I'm not really the kid's uncle, but they don't know. The yeah, kid doesn't know. know. Mm-hmm. You know what? You know what Frankie said? What? When they said, "Hey, this is your Uncle Mike," he said this. Guy's so smart for his age. He really is. Yeah. <laughs> He's a brilliant child. Yeah. It's weird when you see a baby mathematician. Matician? Matician. <laughs> Matician. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. Kid's going places. That kid's going to be somebody. Yeah. He's going to be somebody. You ever met anybody? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Next question. Cool. Great. <laughs> I went sledding uh, last New Year's in Spokane on Spokane Mountain. Whoa! Like, did you go tubing or sledding? Tubing. Sorry. Tubing. Well, that's 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 hardcore sledding. It is. How was it? It was amazing. It's, isn't that shit the best? They had a nice little roped off area. Yeah, and it's like on a, the ski hill. Yeah, yeah. And they uh, they had like a thing you just hook your sled back onto this lift, and it brought you back up, so you didn't have to climb back up. Oh, that's. Great. You just tube and down. And they just put it on like a bunny hill or whatever? Or how yeah. tall was the hill? Um, Please use the diamond color system. It's probably about the length of a football field. It just went down. Oh, great. And it kept going, but they blocked it off and they like had a ramp to stop you. But, oh, cool. <laughs> but people had gone over it so many times that it, it was ineffective. Yeah. <laughs> Did it like go up and like could you have done sweet tricks off of it? Yeah, uh-huh. or you could fly over the uh, barrier they put and uh, have to climb out of the woods a couple of times, like Ooh. I did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the uh, it's, it's weird that you bring up uh, jumps. No, it's not. It, it it's of course that's what you would bring up when you're talking about uh, adult sledding. The last time I went sledding before this, I think I was in a sophomore in college, and I went sledding with this girl, Veterans Hill. Veterans Park Hill in Ann Arbor, Michigan, Mm -hmm. where both of us were born. Uh, These these kids, I'm not going to call them kids. I'm going to call them hooligans. Built this the riff raff, riff raff. Yeah. Oh my god, riff raff scoundrels. And this is and riff raff like this is why they had to build a skate park in that park. He's like, listen, we'll just put all the ne'er do wells over there. Mm-hmm. All the div- all the kids of divorced parents get That's to right. go over there. His latchkey kids. Yeah, latchkey kids. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they got tattoos when they're eight. I hate it. <laughs> get them over there. Send them over to the skate park so us good people can play baseball. Yeah, a sport where no one's ever done anything they're wrong. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but they made they made this this. Uh, this jump, but they didn't make it. You can't really see down it and know that there's a jump. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like when you're at the top of the hill and you're looking down, you have to know that that's there or else you're, you know, and that's exactly what happened. And this girl I was sledding with goes down 
hits the jump, goes like does basically if you're a wrestling fan, uh a like, triple gainer. A triple gainer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, she went like she went up and like back around like a shooting star press where she goes up. Like imagine these are your these are your feet and you go, ooh, ooh, like that. That's mm -hmm. yeah. Uh lands right on her head. Oh. Yeah. And so uh it was the second date I had with this girl, and we spent the rest of it in the fucking emergency room. Oh Nate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh and we did not uh I don't think that was no, no, no. Here's what happened. I remember who this was. Uh, I won't say her name on the air because uh, she's uh, still uh, around and a, and a great lady. But she was your first wife. Uh, she was my first wife, mm -hmm. uh, Peggy. Peggy. <laughs> Peggy. Yeah. But no, uh, yeah. And then we ended up dating. Uh, we ended up like not dating for a little bit. And then we dated that summer. But I, drew, I had to well, drive. Yeah, when she was, yeah, she was she in the infirmary. Yeah. <laughs> When you got all her damn marbles back. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, all right, let's see yeah. what you got. Let's see what you're bringing to the table. Yeah, she took, yeah. A, she took a three month nap. Yeah. <laughs> now that's a pro. Yeah. <laughs> they did, they, 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 they got her in there and they were like, listen, do you want us to pull the plug? And I was like, this is obviously my decision, to make. <laughs> but please do not. Yeah. And that's how I became Mike Shivo. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, my, as, as we said earlier, uh, my dad uh, is in uh, the hospital right now. Uh, he mm -hmm. got a new doctor today. Uh, and I don't, he's like kind of famous. Have you ever heard of Dr. Kevorkian? I think this is oh, going to be bad. <laughs> no, Michael. No, I would not use him what i thought i got a bad vibe off of him yeah you should first off he, this doctor died in 2011 yeah <laughs> that's, that's a big that's a big deal <laughs> that's the that's the worst part yeah <laughs> i've been doing that joke to my mom uh, for maybe 15 years <laughs> 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 and i've been doing that to you for four months uh, and i loved it <laughs> i know it's great it's great yeah. every time here's why kevorkian in detroit was a way bigger deal. Like I've talked about. Oh yeah. Here's how big of it of a deal it was. I've talked about him on this show before. <laughs> it was like the first news story I knew. It was it's fucking Jimmy Hoffa, mm -hmm. uh, the Irishman in theaters this fall, starring Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci, uh, and Al Pacino. And then number two was Jack Kevorkian, and Kevorkian's lawyer, Jeff Figer. He's he's making commercials again oh, for yeah. his law firm. Good for him. Yeah, yeah. Aaron, fellow Detroiter, uh, looking on in sheer amazement of oh, the yeah. of the persistence, the pugnacious tenacity <laughs> of Jeff Feiger. <laughs> you think he'd be a good guest on the show? Of course. Yeah, yeah let's get him. <laughs> let's get the Feig man. Speaking of that, Paul Rudd, great job on the Oscars last night. Let's do this. Let's get you in here, buddy. Yep. All oh, handsome. We're still asking Paul Rudd. We're still asking Paul Rudd. He hasn't been on here. And no. last week, we added another one to the list. Tom Sizemore. I think he'd be good. Oh, I'd love Tom. <laughs> love Tommy Size. The, the Size. I like to call the him size the Size man. King. A lot, oh, of gals, a lot of gals I know. Size, size Queen. Tommy Sizemore. Size King. Well, I tell you what, me. We've been chit chatting away here like we always do, like a couple hens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Clucking around. <laughs> Clucking around. But it's time, man. It's time to put you to the test. We have different questions from the last time you were here. And I, th I thought of some new questions to throw at your fucking ass. Good. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get down to the meat. We're going to see if you're baloney boy material. Baloney boy, not even a term we had last time you we were on the show. That's wow. what I'm calling my gang, the baloney boys. The baloney boys, I love the it. The baloney boys. Shout out to Sabine Sadiq, who suggested that, and I took that suggestion. Mm. Okay. Well, I'm mad at her currently. But Why? <laughs> Why are you mad at her? Because I have to be here. Oh, yeah, that's true. Sabine was going to be on the show and then couldn't uh, get well soon, buddy. No, get well, well. We're, we're, <laughs> You're in our thoughts and prayers. <laughs> Listen, if there's two things you take away from this, just know mm -hmm. that everyone close to me, co-producers of shows, fathers, <laughs> they're going down this week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy death day to them, meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, well, let's see. We'll see if you're going to be baloney boy material. We'll see if you can blow this fucker out. Let's do it. Blow this fucker out. Another catchphrase. <laughs> I, I said it last week, and, and Roebuck was like, "You should say that every week." And now I can't stop thinking, "Blow that fucker!" Out. That's a good Roebuck. It's a good. It's a good yeah. Does he still talk to Sears? 
Uh, no, they had a very bad a falling, falling out, out in huh? the early 60s. Huh. <laughs> You just did the version of uh, Mike O'Queef to Robocop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> gets that constantly. <laughs> I've there's been so many. I, there's so many shit. We, he's a guy I started comedy with in Michigan, and every time we would go to a shit, shit, shit town mm-hmm. to do comedy, the 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 host would say a Sears and Robocop thing, <laughs> and he would. I, I just I'll never forget the the life in Mark's eyes. Leaving as soon as he heard every single one of them say it. <laughs> yeah. That was like my friend, uh, my beloved friend, Sally Brooks, um, was the first person to point out to me how shitty it is when a guy's like, we got a lady coming up. Oh, my God. It 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 kind of happened this weekend to Mal. Yeah. The host, uh, Ben, and I, he immediately was like, oh, I didn't, I'm so sorry. I didn't even mean to say that. Uh he just goes, ah, the next guy coming to the stage, drove all the way here from Chicago. She's very, uh, she's very friendly. Give it up for the lovely, lovely Mallory Bradford. And I was like, she is, she's not a stripper. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, hey, you can't, that lovely thing was weird. He was like, yeah, I know. As soon as I said it, I was so sorry. And I was like, hey, don't worry. Mm-hmm. And then I still tuned him up outside. Yeah, you should. You should. <laughs> well, why don't you stay up here in Traverse City, you cherry eating son of a bitch, Ben yeah. Max. <laughs> Great guy. Very funny. all torqued from just jacking off, you know? You got all those <laughs> endorphins going. God, I ran off a... Running off a batch. Yeah. Woo. Just fired one out there. Yeah. Listen, I had got my punching reps in for the night. And then that rap scallion. You punched the clown. I punched the clown. Shout out to our friend, Henry Phillips. Yep. That bit about... Uh, uh, no, it's either him or Hawkins they have about how... Uh, their buddy, they were in the car with their buddy and they heard a song and then they started singing like Dave Matthews. Oh, that's Hawkins, that's, yeah. ah, God, that bitch. How so do you do it? Do you sound do it? like <laughs> Well, I was walking down just the other day and there were fleas and ticks and ducks and squirrels. And... <laughs> Meet me out there by the dumpsters three, Michael. We'll talk about it. <laughs> that's the thing he said to me at Go Bananas once. There's three dumpsters out in the corner. He goes, I'll see you by the dumpsters three. We'll get to the bottom of this. <laughs> All right. You're, you're cool. I like you a lot. <laughs> the bar next door used to be called McLevy's. Yeah. And I was there with Troy Baxley one time. Mm-hmm. And Oh, is this the story about how you guys tr- tricked me into thinking Troy Baxley uh, ran the Cincinnati Brew Ha Ha? No, <laughs> he just goes. Yeah, it's my festival. I can't. I'm so happy you guys are all here. And I was just like, Oh, thank you so much for having us. It's really, he's like, I don't do. I don't do shit. <laughs> Brixley. But there are three of us walking out of the kitchen at the same time, and he was just standing there, and he goes, "You going to McKelvin's? Yeah. You going to McNickerson's? Yeah. You going to McStevens?" <laughs> I called it McSteamies on stage once there, and everyone thought I was um, hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That happens when I'm up there. So t- <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just a crank. <laughs> Jerking off into the microphone. Hey, uh, this is this, this is a similar one from the when you were here last. Plan my bachelor party, you son of a bitch. All right. Now I've had some time to think about it. Yeah, I'm not putting you on the spot no mo. Mm-hmm. Here's what we're going to do. What were we going to do? Meet. Pre-game at... G-Man Tavern. Oh, my God. <laughs> best damn bar. The best damn bar in all of Chicago. You heard it here first. Then we're going to go to a punk show. Oh, man. Who's playing? Uh, that one you'd like a lot. Thanks, buddy. Then we're going to go see Real Big Fish. Uh, I don't know. Uh, do just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to go beat up a guy who's going to see Real Big Fish. Yeah. yeah suck it, Marty. You're yeah. going down, buddy. Idiot. <laughs> then we'll go to... The, uh, I'm going to bring you to a bar. Ooh. <laughs> and it's going to be a surprise. It's a bar you never go to. It's a pop up bar. Okay. And it's going to be the actualization of your joke about, about, uh, oh, the barcade thing? Yeah. Oh, that would be so fun. I know. So many daddies. Yeah. So many daddies <laughs> to hug you. <laughs> uh, for those listening who don't know, I have a very famous bit. <laughs> No, so famous. <laughs> so famous about how they have all these barcades in the city now, and I think there should be one where everyone just looks like dads. Mm-hmm. So they and they have to tell you they're proud of you. <laughs> and I would I would love that a, a pop up a pop up a pop up of the best day of your life. Mm-hmm. 
I'll be honest with you though. I in the joke I say that the only song I'm going to play is Cats in the Cradle. I I think that's a bad playlist that in, a bad in play. real life. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's good for it's great for the bit. Mm-hmm. Really makes the bit pop. Yeah, do Father and Son. Uh, Father of Mine by Everclear. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's it's a lot of good one. dad songs. My dad is in my phone as Father of Mine. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, when my friends see that. They're like, <laughs> you know that <laughs> song's about his dad being a piece of shit, right? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that's a. The li- How did you not know that? The first lyric is Father of Mine. Where have you gone? <laughs> no, the first lyric is I am still living with your. Oh, that's true. Ghost. You're right. You know more about Everclear than I do. Yeah. Sorry. Uh-huh. On the drive out to Traverse City, Mel just goes, uh, I, I think I had REM on. I do really do like REM. Yeah. Uh, I had REM on, and Mel just goes, do you think we can listen to Everclear, please? <laughs> I put that on. You know, because you beat her. Yeah. <laughs> put that on. That's a fucking sad band. Yeah. They're sad. Yeah. Every, wake everything be wonderful. That's not wonderful. Mm-hmm. You, you had pr- problems growing up. Yeah. We, th- we thank them. And as we you know, thank our thoughts or prayers and with our thoughts or prayers Kim. with the Art Alexakis estate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they're also with that guy from Gin Blossoms. Oh, yeah. And one half of the spin doctors. The guy who had a really bad throat cancer. Yes. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And John Popper's vest maker. Mm-hmm. Because he lost a lot of weight, now he's got to make a whole bunch of vests. Make a whole new vest. Are there any 90s stars of your that you'd like to send a shout-out to? I like to shout-out Chumbawamba. Yeah? Yeah. The Chumba of Chumbawamba. <laughs> <laughs> it was Bert Chumba and yeah. Steve Wumba. I got a big beef with Wumba. <laughs> you got you got heat with Wumba? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What Wumba would do? <laughs> well, I was taking a nap, and that son of a bitch was tub-thumping in the next room. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's where you jerk off in the bath. Uh-huh. <laughs> You shouldn't do that. I learned from my friend, Mike Croden. It's very loud. It's very loud. It's very loud. <laughs> the next question I have, that was a great answer, by the way. Fantastic. Really, really right in the kitchen, right in the, right in the. Right where the bread's made. Right where the bread's made. <laughs> this, is a, this is a question I've asked before on the show. It's new to you, though. Mike Cronin, give me your DJ no-nos and your DJ yes-pleases. Ooh. Um, let's start with the yes, please. Yes, please. That uh, that song they they dance to in the office. Oh, uh, <laughs> I I in the wedding part, episode. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a Chris Brown. Is that a Chris, it is Brown, a Chris song? Brown? It's a Brown. Oh, guess what? Chris Brown is canceled. Oh, he's canceled. Oh, never mind. <laughs> What we'll does edit his parts out of the song? I think he's the only guy who sings on it. Damn it. We just listen, we'll just listen to the instrumental. <laughs> <laughs> the B-side of the single of that song. Is there we play. go. <laughs> um, okay, go ahead. No, you go ahead. I, it's a bad question that I know the answer to. Did you ever buy a CD single when you were a child? Or a single? I did. Was on a tape? What'd you, what'd you get? Because um, I, I, I obviously have an answer to that. I but. think it was the MC Hammer uh, Adam's Family song. <laughs> Um, I, <laughs> yeah. What was the hook to that? They do what they want to do, say what they want to say, live how they want to live, play how they want to play, dance how they want to dance, kicking this up with the Adams family. <laughs> da, 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 da. Too legit. Too quit. <laughs> that's fun. Uh, oh, that's on there for sure. You can't touch that. Um, no. the only single I bought was, um, but, hey, uh, what was the what was the big single off Bad Hair Day? No, not Bad Hair Day. Off Running with Scissors by Weird Al, the Don McLean parody. Begins. The saga, saga begins, begins by Weird Al. That's the only single I ever bought or uh, CD single I ever bought. Hell yeah, yeah, dude. Well, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna flip the script on you. Okay, all right. No DJ. It's gonna be a live band. Well, yeah, that's the obvious answer. Yeah. It's obviously gonna be a band. It's, it's a live. But band. we can still tell them what to play and what not to play. No. For that night, they're ours, baby. <laughs> I'll tell you what I tell you what I do want him to play is um uh Janie's got a gun by Aerosmith. Hell yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, so what my, was the other one though? I'm sorry. 
My Dingling. <laughs> Who's that by? That's by. Uh, Who does my? Who's singing about Dinglings out there? Let's say Is it by your seven-year-old nephew? What's up? Dave Bartholomew Dave does Bartholomew. my dingling. That sounds like a like a Jewish guy who got into jazz. Mm-hmm. Dave Bartholomew and the Bartholomew Three <laughs> at Izzy's in Hamtramck. Not a real. I just made that up. Yeah, I like the Hamtramck though. I love Hamtramck. Yeah, what a nice little Polish enclave. Mm-hmm. Factories there, or as uh, Joe List called on his podcast, Ham Tamarick. <laughs> Have you? Let me ask you a question. If yeah. you're gonna make ham, a ham, I would, would use tamarack. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why you wouldn't. Yeah, why not? Get Mix it in it there. Up. Yeah. Get it in there. You already got the brown sugar. I'm tired of all these pineapples on ham. Thank you. <laughs> People talk about pineapples on pizza. No, no more pineapples on ham. <laughs> <laughs> what does tamarack taste like? What's tamarack in? I think I it's in imagine. like Indian. It's Indian food. stuff. Yeah. That's not. That doesn't track. <laughs> that dog don't hunt. <laughs> Okay, so I found out recently that it is very customary to give your fellow groomsmen, if if you're the the groom, it's customary to give your groomsmen a gift. Mm -hmm. You give everyone a gift. Um, I found out recently that my groomsmen gift when I was in Justin's wedding was a bottle of whiskey. Uh, I I forgot that because I drank most of that bottle the night of the wedding. Of course. Because I'm a great, Mm -hmm. I get the party started. Yeah. Listen, I don't know all the words to Toto's Africa, which is Justin's favorite song, which is a song that they played at the wedding twice. Hell yeah. But I know how to dance to Africa real good after 75% of a bottle of Traverse City Distillery brand bourbon. Even though it's not really bourbon. It's Sorry, not I bourbon. I didn't, Can't mean be to, bourbon. I didn't mean to piss Can't off. Can't be bourbon. Listen, we, the crossover of this podcast and, uh, <laughs> and Bourbon and Over, mm-hmm. which is a podcast about bourbon that I just made up. I was going to say, what would be a good name for a, what's a pon, podcast about bourbon? What would you call that? Um, suburban. Get, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, drinker in the rye. Drinker in the oh, rye, he says, but that's go. different. That's, that's rye, a competing. Though. Yeah. Rye's Canadian whiskey. Yeah. You can't have a, you can't have a cla- or just a catch all for whiskey. That's not bad. But a bourbon one. Hmm. Barrel of laughs. Barrel of laughs isn't bad. It's mm-hmm. not good. Nope. Uh, <laughs> what else? Keep throwing these out here. I'm trying to pivot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 22 in. I'm done talking about this one. No, that's not true. That's not true. I love doing this. Uh, how do you feel about those wild turkey ads with Matthew McConaughey? I love them. Yeah, they get me pretty hard, too. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. What was that? <laughs> oh, nothing. Listen, I fuck Lincolns. Anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> Every time I see a Lincoln at a gas station, I get hard and pull my dick out and I fuck the gas tank. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, what's, right? what's your problem? <laughs> oh, Aaron, uh, you, you can't cut this out. You can't cut this part out. This is going to go in the show. Okay? Oh, here we go. Aaron says, just, you know how just, people say I'm just whistling Dixie? In- I'm just distilling whiskey. Oh, no, that's actually. That's good. Aaron said, I'm just distilling whiskey. It's very tough to say. Mm-hmm. But it's good. it's good. I'm just distilling whiskey. I said it good the second time. I'm mm-hmm. just distilling whiskey. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Do you have any? Would you? Uh, would you put that show on the on the network? The the bourbon cast. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Mm-hmm. So if you're out there and you want to start that bourbon podcast, I think we're looking at the the two hosts of it right here. I don't want to do that. It's too late. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Well, that's that's not a bad idea. Write that down. Mm-hmm. For us. Sure. <laughs> but we don't drink bullet. We don't drink bullet. Bullet's bad. Or is it good? I don't know. Uh bullet, the uh the family uh disowned their lesbian daughter. Oh uh, not gay. even Dick Cheney did that. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Ugh, that's pretty stupid. Mm-hmm. Well, best of luck to Sandra Cynthia Bullet. Bullet. <laughs> oh, mine was better. I said yeah. Sandra Bullet. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Oh, this, is, got this is fantastic. Mm-hmm. All right. So what's my groom gift? What am I going to give these other guys? I don't know what to get. You have to I'm, tell me what I'm going to get? Yeah. You, yeah. 
Because you're you're helping out. You're one of the helpers here. If you give me a goddamn flask, I will throw it in your face. <laughs> right? Yeah. I have, I have, for Christmas when your Mal bought me a flask of a pro wrestler, mm-hmm. <laughs> this guy, Chuck Daler, who I love, one of the best, one of my, he's not one of the best, no offense, Dustin, but uh, Chuck D, one of my favorite wrestlers, he, he had a flask with his logo on it. She got me that. You know how many times I've used it? Fucking I'm zero. Zero, yeah. <laughs> <You> forget. <laughs> But yeah, that, God damn it! What a great call. Um, my friend got me uh, an Adidas like backpack. Oh, that's not bad. Like one of those yeah. ones with like the two strings on both sides that are like really stretchy. Okay. And I use that more than I've used anything. Was that for being a groomsman or just for just for being a groomsman? Really? He also gave me a shirt. Uh, that said groomsman on it. It was all black and white. <laughs> the problem was it was a large, and at the time I was a 2X. So, <laughs> so I just like gave it to my girlfriend at the time. I was like, I guess you can groomsman have this. Now. <laughs> Sean, Sean's really grateful that you got to be his wife. Yeah. But what am I going to give these guys, though? What would you want to receive? Maybe a nice... Uh, you know what he gave me? That Another thing that I love was an engraved um, like beer glass oh like that's a tall not bad. one yeah the ones that that go start short and then have like a little bump in them and then they go up yeah you know what I'm you pint like glass a, yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> i love that i love that you kind of did like it was a lady yeah <laughs> you, went, you know ooh, you know ooh, ooh, voluptuous voluptuous <laughs> He gave me a nice voluptuous glass you know you see those glasses and they're shaking their ass all over the place mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, you see that drink wear and you're thinking, oh, I got to run, run I got off a, a batch. Oh, I got a batch. <laughs> batch that needs to run okay, off. I got a batch. Oh, yeah. Well, what Spe- did you want to get, though? I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. These things. You just want more of these things. You I want have. an ingrained. <laughs> ingrained? <laughs> an engraved glass. Just a glass that already knows something, uh-huh. of course. <laughs> an ingrained glass. <laughs> And a and a and a backpack that I don't I don't understand I don't understand this backpack you're talking about it's like a good one of those that's gotten, good I've gotten tons of those shitty backpacks with the strings yeah yeah because I've started a lot of bank accounts yeah <laughs> uh, but it was like a good one like a high quality one it was a high quality one I don't hate that mm-hmm. I don't hate that at all I'll tell you good a bad one out. I'll tell yeah. you another bad one uh, that's like cool in theory but then you just have this thing. Uh, my one of my cousins was in a wedding where all the groomsmen got engraved Louisville sluggers. So now you just have a baseball bat with your name on it in your house, <laughs> yeah. like just proof that you beat up someone with a bat. Uh-huh. Like that's all it is. <laughs> like, yeah, rough, 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 rough. Oh, get up, get us all a dog. Oh, I'd love to do that. <laughs> get us all God, a puppy. I'd love that. Oh, you, you guys. But I give it to you that night. Uh huh. You just have to carry <laughs> yeah, it around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like as you're leaving, they're like, "Oh, is that is that Mark Cramblin? All right, <laughs> here you go. <laughs> Here's a pit bull puppy. Enjoy. <laughs> Mike really appreciates it." <laughs> oh man, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, my friend gave it to us on the rehearsal dinner night. Okay, so that we didn't have to carry it around during the wedding. What a great call. Yeah, yeah. We we got it. We got it an, long enough before the ceremony. That and it it was a bottle of whiskey with our names on it, mm-hmm. which is very nice. Yeah. I really appreciate it. It's great, great whiskey too. Um, but uh, he gave it to us early enough before the ceremony that we could put it in our room and not have to carry it around. But it was close enough to the ceremony that you know we was dipping in. Oh Come yeah, on, you, you know what I'm <laughs> you saying. Know. You know what I'm saying. You know that was the. You wed- know what I forget about? What's up? Being in a wedding. Yeah, and I've only been in. One, I think, to my knowledge, two. This this one you're talking about, then my brother, brother, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I forgot about how fun the pre wedding hang is, where you're like, everyone's just very wasting loose. time with yeah. the groom. Ah, it's, a, it's great throwing some cornhole. Yo, I love throwing cornhole. Mm-hmm. I love or, eating corn. Yeah, and then shitting it out my yeah. Oh, so yeah, sorry. right out of that hole. <laughs> I apologize to... Uh, <laughs> I'm eating out of that hole where you're running up a batch on the other side. 
We just went into a new territory of podcasts <laughs> sure that I don't think Aaron wants in his studio. Oh. And I don't want my name attached to. So. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> he's, uh, he actually put on some gloves and he's scrubbing his hard drive. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, realize that's how they did it. I don't know if we've discussed this before. Aaron, not a smart man. No. <laughs> Aaron's just Aaron is that scene in Zoolander where they go in the computer. <laughs> Aaron's always yeah. doing that. Yeah. He knows how all this shit works. He's way smarter than us. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. I don't know how to do this. Yeah, I don't. Start, I don't. He put he, on those gloves. He yeah. dressed like Dexter's mom from Dexter's Lab. And, oh yes, and just started scrubbing. He just got in there. Mm-hmm. Good. Blew that fuck around. Yeah. He has to tell me almost every episode to talk closer to the microphone. That's He's much true. smarter than yeah. I. <laughs> <laughs> Much smarter than I am. All right. So the next thing we got to do, um, this is another thing that wasn't on the show last time we were here. You got There's going to be an interruption at this wedding. Or was that a thing when you were here last? Oh, I did, yeah. I got to explain how I'm going to kick the guy out. Yeah. I'm going to do it again. I only. I thought I had more new things. Well, nope. Turns out I only had the one. <laughs> Two, but whatever. Well, I'll be... Uh... I'll be at least seven eighths through this bottle of whiskey you just got me. So we got to do the. It's a role play now. Did you know that? No, it's a role play now. Okay, it is new. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna dip into one of my. I got a big, deep old bag of characters. Mm-hmm. You're a fucking three. Can I start as the um, wedding officiant? No, that's not your job in this. That's fair. That would be it. That's the follow up podcast. Well, I'm gonna I- do. Well, I'll do a voice. And then I'll come in as me once you start interrupting. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Yeah. So you're going to play two parts. Mm-hmm. You're going to clumps this. Yeah, I'm going to clumps it. <laughs> Good Lord. I can't wait. Who was the last time you saw the clumps? <laughs> oh, it's been too long. <laughs> That's the problem. What are you doing after this? <laughs> Let's say we blow off the show we're both on. Uh-huh. And we go get some clumps on our hangdowns. Let's do it. <laughs> It ain't clumping if you got it. It ain't no fun if your homies ain't clumping. <laughs> Rolling down the street, watching the clumps, sipping on clumpage juice. <laughs> Laid back. Right. With my mind on my clumps and my, my clumps, clumps on, on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to apologize to the dog father for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Thanks for getting me a lot of through a lot of those lonely suburban nights back in the day. Sam. <laughs> Hell yeah, <laughs> me just me running off a batch to Coach Snoop. <laughs> Hello, he's helping these kids. <laughs> God bless know. him. God bless him. Yeah, you want to? You'll start it yeah. off, and then I'll interrupt you. That's mm-hmm. a great. That's a great way to do this. Yeah, because then that write write that down. Because then I then I get to interrupt something. Because now it's just me going. Bleh! And I can't mm-hmm. do that. You know. Yeah. Also, I get a little sense of how you would want the ceremony to go. And I like that as well. Yeah. This is good. You're an innovator. Thank you. Anyway, go on. Do you, Mallory, take this man? <laughs> Michael oh, come O'Keefe? On, what are you doing? It's me, Jimmy Percy from Shep 16. Only two, no, two weeks in a row. I can't forget to do it every voice. Hey, hey, buddy. Oh, it's hey. with every wing. Whoa, hey, hey. This isn't some I, Irish radio about? show. This, what is this? It's <laughs> a wedding. You it's gotta, bullshit. What is a wedding? This is my best friend's wedding. What did they make out there? Have you ever also, seen my best friend's that's wedding? That's my favorite movie. <laughs> well, Paul let's go watch it. Support and roll. He's not in it for a long time, but he is in it for a good time. <laughs> my review, best friend's wedding. Well, let's go. I got a Paul Giamatti film blog. What do you say? You and me go it's, watch it, Adam Burke. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know your name. I already said I was Jimmy Percy from Shab 69, but that's a good call. We should. It would be funny to have Adam Burke on a pole case. Uh-huh. Have him deal with his shit. Yeah. <laughs> he probably wrote a little, I probably wrote a song in about it. He's a very lyrical man. <laughs> anyway, you stop talking, so that means I've done a great job interrupting this man. <laughs> oh, I've done it. Well, now that that's over with, <laughs> do you, Mac, take Mallory to be your lawfully lated husband? Where, where are you? Where's that guy from? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's from heaven. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. the budget for this, <laughs> for this wedding is... Pretty big. Yeah. We're getting deities since preside. <laughs> well, that's what all the uh, all the money you're making off this podcast is going. Thank you very much, Casper Mattresses, again for that. <laughs> mm. 
I love it. Great job, I guess. Uh, <laughs> before we get to the last thing, there's a couple things we got to knock out. Number one, I, I alluded to it before, but here comes it, it, it's time for the ASMR minute. All right, so here we go. We're gonna talk down here. Link to ASMR. Mm-hmm. Uh, wife of producer Sarah uh, said that Cardi B uh, now watches ASMR for her migraines. So oh, this one's going right? out to Cardi B. Here we go. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's Sarah, if there's an ASMR the thing that you'd like to do into the microphone, please do it now, Michael. I'm, uh, I guess I'm just gonna describe. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, that's oh, good. Got that's some, good. Some Kleenex here. It's very soft. He's so handsome. What's his name? Oh, that's a C- Cardi B. Oh, that's a Cardi B song. Yeah. I'm just rubbing this Kleenex. That's good. I got a, I got a pop filter that I'm doing some stuff with, but yeah. I don't know if it's picking up. Oh, it's picking up. Babe. Is it? Is it really yeah. picking up? Okay, good. This is all for Cardi. Thank you, Cardi. Shout out. Your, shout out to Cardi B. Our thoughts and prayers are with your thoughts and prayers. <laughs> with your, you and your migraines. I'm sorry. Yeah. I follow you on Instagram, and you've been posting a lot of stories about your migraines, and I get them too, so I understand it's they, they suck. Yeah, that's no good. Yeah, it's it's no good. You're a mom, and you're a superstar, and you're doing great. You're doing great. And, uh, and you're We're so proud of you. We're so proud of you. You were amazing, hon. Uh, between two ferns. <laughs> <laughs> Did they do one with her? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna look at that in the Uber on the way to the show. You should. I'm gonna put headphones on, so don't please don't talk to me. Yeah, gonna, absolutely. We'll ride over there together. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You didn't drive. No. No. Okay. Parking over there is tough. Sometimes. It's really tough. Yeah. But everyone listening to this should come to G Man every day. <laughs> 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 Got you, ah, you sick fucks. That was fucking amazing. <laughs> that was the best. Oh, man. Woo, enjoy running off a batch to that later. Yeah. That was fantastic. Oh, man. And the only way we can follow that, because that was so great, is with the Bane impression of the week. Here we go. Hey, I'm Bane. Great. Another was, great Bane impression. so good. <laughs> Spot on. Spot oh, on. You want me to try? Yeah, yeah, you do a Bane impression. Um. I enjoy the darkness. <laughs> God damn it. Ah, I right? used to do a good one. Oh my, so did I. I used to do. <laughs> and I've been trying to get like, it back for 15 fucking weeks now. It's like Sean Connery, but higher? Yes, to dark. But like not. Is it dark? Or, it's like nasally. Yeah. Right? It's not na- It's like muffled. Like, Hold on, let me. Oh, let oh, me get into my Sean. Oh. Let me get into my Sean Connery. Okay. Well, today we're sailing to history. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. That's from Hunt for Red October. Mm-hmm. It's actually from uh, Sean Cullen bit. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I know it too, buddy. <laughs> also, we'll we'll add Sean Cullen to the list. Oh, Sean Cullen's get Cullen one. In here. Here's the, I'll, I'll say something about Sean Cullen. He's He is one of my all-time favorite comedians. Same. That guy makes me laugh like nobody fucking else. Oh, he's incredible. Cullen, if you're listening to this and you're ever in Chicago, I'd love to have you in here. He's, yeah. a tr- he's in Toronto. He's what like famous in Canada. Mm-hmm. And he's got some lovely children. But if you're ever in Shashitae, <laughs> I'd love to have you on here. Uh, I would love to have you or you as a Southern lawyer on here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that bit's fu- oh, God, <laughs> it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Sean Cullen. Anyway, John Cullen. He's Sean got Cullen. A couple albums on Spotify. Yeah, go listen I to listen him. Listen to him on road trips. The the st- the stand up ones are really the one that's all music is really good too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's great. Mm-hmm. He's fantastic. Do you want to start a Sean Cullen podcast? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> we bring in a new. <laughs> we call it Cullen Cucks. <laughs> John Cucklin. Yeah. Uh, and he, every every uh, episode, we bring in a new comedian, and we play Sean Cullen's bits for him, and we just go, it's great, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty great. Huh? You like it? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much again for being here. Thanks for having me. I couldn't think of a new... Uh, got her. I... I <laughs> <laughs> Aaron's doing a lot of producing today, which it I sure appreciate. Is. He's really, he's really earning his. Uh, listen, I'm not going to tell you how much I, I have pay for my studio time. It's ah, it's a fifteen hundred dollars a second. Mm-hmm. But uh, <laughs> by the way, that seems high. I meant to talk to you about. It's, that. Have you heard how good oh, this yeah. podcast sounds? Uh-huh. It's really good. Yeah, yeah. it's worth it. Uh huh. I'm. I do not have a house anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a big problem. Man. Yeah, yeah. I stole these pants. That's mm-hmm. how bad it is. But podcast sounds great, and the dozens of people who listen, they. Dozens. 
Aaron, can you take off the headphones for a second? I think you're getting fucked here, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's a great room. Yeah. It's a great room. Half a dozen people listen to this. <laughs> Half of a dozen. <laughs> All right. It's time, baby. I need you to do my best man, Spiggity Speech. All right. And we're going to bring in Greg the Foley artist. Oh, Greg comes in here. Where oh, that's what that guy said. He's just stood here this whole time staring at it. He didn't even laugh. Yeah, yeah. He's very stoic. Mm -hmm. But he knows. You know why? Because he knows that if he pipes up, I'm just going to tell him to pipe right back down. That's true. It's a fool there, and Greg, and I appreciate you knowing that. All right. So, Greg, do your damnedest to make this feel, sonically feel, like you're at my nuptials. All right. Here we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please sit down. Uh, I wanted to uh, first off give the congrats on the uh, maid of honor for that uh, boring speech about <laughs> when you used to go to college with the girl and you the girl <laughs> <laughs> and you had the same teacher or whatever. Uh, <laughs> I'm here to tell you about my best fucking friend. And his name is Mike O'Keefe, and we played for the Cincinnati Reds in 1993 for half a season. Thank you. <laughs> Go Reds! Mike's a guy. <laughs> guy you can always count on. Guy you can always cherish. Guy gonna be a, he's going to be a good husband to this girl. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Here's how much of a friend I am about Mike. I'm not even sure about Mallory. <laughs> And I think she's great. I think she's the best girl he's ever dated. I think they belong together. But you know what, Mallory? You're on fucking notice. <laughs> I'll be watching you like a hawk. <laughs> this is my best friend. <laughs> and so let's get drunk or something. I don't know. I'm not good with these. Look. <laughs> I had a full bottle of whiskey that Mike <laughs> gave to me before this. <laughs> And I drank it, and now we're here. And I just want to say thoughts and prayers for <laughs> Cardi B. She's going through a tough time with these migraines. <laughs> and in closing, uh, <laughs> I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I'd be a part of this. And uh, baseball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, play ball. Yeah. There you go. Right. <laughs> Great. That was fantastic, me. That was that was uh Oh, you're tearing up. Well, I really am. Even Greg, he's crying. Greg's crying over there mm -hmm. too. You the, it's, Greg, stop crying. <laughs> you're here to make noises from things. Not noises from your face. That see, here's here's Greg's deal. And mm -hmm. here's why he's such he's usually, usually a such professional. a great Foley artist. Yeah. He hates talking, mm -hmm. and instead he communicates. He he tries to talk every show. I I don't let him. He yeah. tries to go. Hey, what's going? I don't need to. Yeah. He, instead of learning sign language, instead of, uh, you know, being a proficient you know, penman, mm -hmm. penmanship. Yeah. He uses noises from other things to communicate what he's thinking. Sure. Like when he, when he makes a rain sound, he's saying, "Hey, my my knees acting funny. It's gonna rain." When he makes a gunshot noise with those two wooden blocks, that means he's hungry. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> when he's like uh, a gurgling noise, that means he's drowning. Oh no! He's a great foley artist. Yeah. Yeah. There's a reason they're called artists. Mm-hmm. It's because it's art. It is art. Mm -hmm. Everything's art. Every choice is art. Stuart Hoff told me that. We won't have him on. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. No, I'd love to have Stuart. I'd yeah. Best. Anyway, I mean, thank you so much for being here. This is Thanks very for having me. Fun. I appreciate you uh -huh. being here. And now it's time. It's the toughest part of the show for me. Mm -hmm. It's the toughest part of the well, show not for this the, one. This one's an easy choice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's never an easy choice. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to take away the tension is. of the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this one, this one, I'll be honest with you. It, this was a pretty easy choice. Mm hmm. We, it's time to for me to make my decision. Take down the tablet from on high. 
Yeah. Like Moses. He did. Was that him? Abraham? Moses Jeff. Moses, yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, Get Down Moses, which yeah. is a Joe Strummer and the Mescalero song. <laughs> Time for me to bring down my decision in the case of Meat versus v. Meat v. Baloney Boys. <laughs> <laughs> and I rule that Michael Jackson uh, Cronin. <laughs> oh, you did know it. <laughs> I know, you always wear one glove. <laughs> and in the winter, it, it's not feasible. But you do it anyway, and you say, I have a gimmick to protect. And I say, thank you for using wrestling parlance when you're talking to me. Mm-hmm. I rule that you... Here it is. Still not a baloney oh, boy. Come on. Still not doing it. You got a name for him now, and I'm still not in? You're still not no, in. it's me. Tell me not the baloney boy. <laughs> Because a lot of bologna isn't real meat. Uh, I demand a retrial. <laughs> no, nah, man, maybe in a couple. We'll yeah. see who we'll see who bails we'll see next who week. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, such a blast. Thanks yeah. so much for being here. Thanks for having me. It's this great. is fun. Yeah, let's go keep doing this for another, you know, two hours. But let's do it. Only one of us will have a mic at a time. Yeah. Gonna go to the so, other than every Monday at nine o'clock, G Man Tavern mm-hmm. in Chicago, Illinois. The home. Of the Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich. <laughs> I don't think that's accurate. <laughs> no, Chicago is the home of the Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich. That's Dublin, Ohio. That's where I eat most of mine. Mm, okay. Dublin, Ohio. Dublin's in Ireland, you stupid shit. <laughs> Dublin, Ohio. Oh, okay. Let's go to Limerick, Kentucky. Have fun in Galway, Pennsylvania. Fucking Lim- Dublin, Ohio. Yeah, Belfast, yeah, Northern Michigan. Get out of here. <laughs> stupid shit. Dublin, Ohio. <laughs> Dublin, Ohio. Nah, uh, uh, Cork, Florida. More like Cork Bat. <laughs> Sorry. Got him. You fucking got him. <laughs> uh, whatever. Uh, wh- you got anything you want to tell them? You want to tell them about? Uh, when's this go out? Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. Quick turnaround. Real quick. Yeah. Um, do you got any Minneapolis? Actually, we do. Yeah. 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 Well, if you're listening to it the day it comes out, I will be there tonight headlining Acme Comedy Company. Thank you. Good on you, buddy. Good for you. And then I'll go be to there. a great club, see a great comedian. And I'll be there the rest of the week. With and by that, Davis. I mean uh, Ali Sultan, who's probably featuring for yeah. you. And then uh-huh. also, you'll, you'll see me there yep. as well. <laughs> <laughs> and you can leave early. Yeah, you can see that. Do you know uh, who else is on the on the show? I don't. You don't? Okay. I'm sure that every, I, listen, friends of mine, mm-hmm. compadres, amigos, they know the, the love I have for Minneapolis, a one-time home of me. I call it the forgotten year. Uh, that's an emotional thing. <laughs> yeah. I grew there comedically, leaps and bounds. And I had, a, I had a lot of good friends there, a lot of good times there. It's a great town. If you're in Minneapolis, go see friend of the show, Mike Cronin, over at the Acme Comedy Company. And the following weekend, I will be at the Chicago Improv hosting for Mr. David Attell. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. That's a, uh, yeah, get out there to Schaumburg. Go see, mm-hmm. uh, go see, wh- I, I, where would you put David Attell in the all time pantheon of American stand up comedians? He's, I don't know. <laughs> he's my number one. I, he's, I'd say he's definitely in the top. Top three. Top, probably like top five for me. I yeah. fucking love it, Town. Yeah, man. yeah. It's great. And if I was in town, I would come tag along. Oh, yeah? But I won't be. Where are you going to be? Um, I don't know. I have an album on iTunes also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go get uh, Hot from uh, hot from Being Sweaty. Hot for too long. Hot for too long. <laughs> okay. It's about shitting, not being sweaty. Don't it's be actually, gross. It's actually called Hot from Teacher. It's... <laughs> Yeah, from teacher, hot from teacher. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, that's Saint. You, you're out there St. Patrick's Day weekend or the weekend before St. Patrick's Day weekend. Okay, St. Patrick's Day weekend. I have my last uh, St. Patrick's Day weekend in my twenties, and uh, I, uh, you will see me on the streets of Chicago. See me on the streets. <laughs> it's kind of being a dick. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm going. I, I, I have a big uh, night planned. I'm going to go see some professional wrestling, and then I'm going to go see the Tossers at oh, uh, the amazing. Metro. But. If you're not, if you don't want to do that, and if you don't have, I, I've, I've, you know, I'll plug my stuff in the intro because I have stuff to, before that. Mm-hmm. Go see me at the Chicago Improv with the tell. Go see him in Minneapolis, Bo, at Bone Snake Three, and all the social media. That's right. His dad's Bone Snake Two. That mm-hmm. is a real 
story. Mate, thank you so much. Thanks thank for you so me. much, Mark Cramblin. It's be Mike Cronin. Oh, boo. <laughs> boo fucking who. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. Till death do us fart. Thank you.